You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. But let me tell you, let me just give you a little bit of family a feud history here. Tribulation Trump has never really liked Don Jr. because he don't like his mama. And he didn't raise him. So let's get that clear. Nor Eric. Uh, but guess who did get a chance to go to Washington? Guess who Trump looks at, looks to as his real son? The one he really admires, the one he praises all the time. You know who it is? It's that, it's that boy, Jared. That's who Trump really likes. That's who Trump loves that boy. He loves Jared. Trump has given Jared powers greater than the Secretary of State. Rex Tillerson had to leave the Secretary of State office because Trump assigned to Jared Secretary of State powers. He's got him writing a new deal for the Middle East. He's traveling all over Saudi Arabia. He couldn't get security clearance because he's, he's in debt up to his geezers, way up the wazoo with debt. They wouldn't give him security clearance, but Trump overrode the security clearance department and gave him top security clearance anyway. That's Trump's favorite boy, Jared. That's who Trump really loves, not John, Don Jr. Don Jr., Trump hates, but Jared, Trump loves. But not only that, he took Ivanka. They're in Washington. They're all working in the White House. Ivanka's there. Ivanka sits in on high-level cabinet meetings. Ivanka sits in on meetings. She don't even know the language and what they're talking about. But she sits in. But where's Don Jr.? Don Jr. is stuck in New York City talking about he's running his father's business. Well, that's another lie. He never ran it, and he ain't running it now. So you see, my friends, it's as clear as the nose on your face. Don Jr. And, Don, and Tribulation Trump, Don Sr. have never liked each other. And that's why you, I mean, what father going to Washington would take it as president, would take his daughter and his son-in-law and leave his eldest son home. Listen, Don Jr. should be doing what Jared is doing. Don Jr. should be running around the world. Don Jr. should have the Secretary of, the, the, of State powers. Don Jr. should have security clearance. Don Jr. should be in the limelight. Don Jr., Don Jr., Don Jr. But Don Jr. got left in New York City with Michael Cohen, and Michael Cohen and Don Jr going to bring down tribulation Trump. They had it with him. They had it with him. I think Don Jr., they asked tribulation, uh, Michael Cohen, are you upset that they didn't, that Trump didn't bring you to Washington? I mean, he was Trump's personal lawyer, paid all of his sex bills, dealt with all his dirty stuff. Michael Cohen dealt with it and dealt with it for years, even dealt with Jerry Falwell's dirty stuff, where Jerry Falwell's wife was caught naked with, a, with a, one of the students at the school at, by the pool. Jeff Falwell Jr.'s wife. D Michael Cohen dealt with that dirty stuff and paid out $1.8 million to keep it quiet until I heard about it. No! Why didn't Don Jr. You don't leave your son and you say, well, you don't want to bring any of your children. You brought your daughter. You brought your son-in-law. Ain't Listen, Listen, everybody know James Kelly, John, John, James Mathis, everybody, Rex Tillerson. Most of the reason why people have left Trump's administration, not only that Trump a, is a, a maniacal a, 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 a psychopath, but they have to bow down to, to, they have to kiss the ring of Jared Kushner to get this, just a chance to see the president. Even if they're the Secretary of Defense, they got to go through Jared Kushner. That's the kind of power that Trump has given to Jared and Ivanka. But he gave Don Jr. guts. He gave him nothing. He gave a bag full of hot air. So now the tables are turned. Don Jr. said, I'm going to testify. I'm going to tell it like it is. Oh, Lord, they're going to be good. <laughs> this one's going to be good, my brother. This, no, Don Jr., uh, uh, yeah. Oh, let me back up some of this stuff because I've made a lot of statements here. All right. I, at the, um, we, let's, that's the foundation of this, right? Here's why the Senate committee wants Trump, uh, Don Jr., back down in Washington. 
is because Michael Cohen, who's now in the Otisville Federal Correctional Facility, stated in a meeting. Now, we know that everybody said that Michael Cohen's a liar. Well, yeah, but this ain't no lie. <laughs> Trump knew about that meeting. I have an, I, I want to now validate all my claims that I've just made a few moments ago. So you think I'm going to be many of y'all a Trump worshiper. Somebody called me an idiot when I posted this up that the father and son are having a fight. It's going to spill out into the New York Times. But yeah, Don Jr. going to put his father uh, on, uh, uh, out. He's going to put all his business out in the street. But just the same way Michael Cohen put, um, the same way Michael Cohen put the illegal president, Triple H and Trump's business in the street. His boy getting ready to put it. They're going to believe his boy. This this going to get good. Get yourself some popcorn. Because this going to get good. This going to get good, 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 good. <laughs> now this going to get good. Anyway, Mr. Engineer, let me back up a little bit of what I'm saying here. So we've been into this now for a few minutes. Do you have clip number one where we have validation about what Michael Cohen has said about Trump knowing about that Russian meeting? Sometime in the summer of 2017, I read all over the media that there had been a meeting in Trump Tower in June of 2016 involving Don Jr. and others from the campaign with Russians, including a representative of the Russian government, and an email setting up the meeting with the subject line, dirt on Hillary Clinton. What struck me as I looked back and thought about the exchange between Don Jr. and his father was first, that Mr. Trump had frequently told me and others that his son Don Jr. had the worst judgment of anyone in the world. And also that Don Jr. would never set up any meeting of significance alone, and certainly not without checking with his father. I also knew that nothing went on in Trump world, especially the campaign, without Mr. Trump's knowledge and approval. All right, now, Mr. Engineer, I want you to prepare to loop that. I want you to we won't hear that one more time. And let me set it up this time, all right? So we wanted to validate that what I'm saying about Don Jr., that these two men, Michael Cohen and Don Jr., didn't get a chance to be a part of the Trump administration. It was, it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was worse than an insult. I mean, it was a poke in the eye with a, with a sharp stick. Michael Cohen, Trump's personal attorney, and Don Jr., Trump's eldest son, did not get invited to come to Washington with tribulation Trump when he won the presidency. Now his son-in-law, Jared did, his daughter, Ivanka did, but not these two men. Why? Okay. Don Jr. has never liked his father, never. He's just used whatever his father could give him. And, and tribulation Trump hates Don Jr. He hates him. He don't think he's qualified. He, and Trump feels that way about it. This is no, this is no, this is nothing bad against Don Jr. Trump thinks everybody is dumber than him. Trump thinks everybody is, but Trump particularly looks at his own son and thinks his son is inept, that he has poor judgment, that he is stupid. I will say this: Trump, Don Jr. was dating this one of these women over there on uh, uh, Fox News. What was her name? Because his wife. When, when, when Don Jr.'s wife, and they have five children together, when Don Jr.'s wife saw that her father-in-law uh, was going to Washington and didn't take her son, she stepped out. She, she said, I'm, I'm divorcing you. If, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to put up with this, this nonsense of you and your father. They're separated. They are, Don Jr. and his wife and the five children are separated. And he started going with this woman, Kimberly Guilford, yeah, her, who is this woman, Kimberly Guilford over at Fox News was uh, a, 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 a accused of sexual assault of men. That usually it's men that accuse of women uh, of sexual assault. This woman is such a sex bear. She said she attacks men, grabs them in the hallway by the water cooler, and said, "Let's go into the copying closet." This is a, and he would. This is the, and, and 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 Don Jr. was was dating her. Now Fox has fired her. Don Jr. was dating her. But I say this. I say this. And Trump got ticked off. But I say this. It, the, the, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Listen, Trump dates some pretty wicked, some sexy people. Trump dates porn stars. So what you expect his son to do? It, but to date Kimberly Gill for. But Trump doesn't feel his son is smart enough. Trump feels that his son is, you know, is inept. 
Roll that one more time and we're going to hear this. Not only that, but we're going to hear that Trump knew about that it was Trump that set up the meeting with Vesemiskaya and Paul Manafort and Jared and the Russians. It was Trump that set it up, not Don Jr., because Trump doesn't believe that Don Jr. got enough sense to pull Wee Wee out of a boot. He didn't have enough sense a judgment to set up such a sophisticated meeting. It was Trump, tribulation Trump. And that's what Don Jr. going to testify when he gets before the Senate committee. Mr. Engineer, one more time so we can hear it from the horse's mouth. Sometime in the summer of 2017, I read all over the media that there had been a meeting in Trump Tower in June of 2016 involving Don Jr. and others from the campaign with Russians, including a representative of the Russian government and an email setting up the meeting with the subject line, Dirt on Hillary Clinton. What struck me as I looked back and thought about the exchange between Don Jr. and his father was first, that Mr. Trump had frequently told me and others that his son Don Jr. had the worst judgment of anyone in the world. And also that Don Jr. would never set up any meeting of significance alone, and certainly not without checking with his father. I also knew that nothing went on in Trump world, especially the campaign, without Mr. Trump's knowledge and approval. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Trump, tribulation Trump, and Paul Manafort set up that meeting. Don Jr. was just allowed to chair it. But tribulation Trump, doesn't believe in his son. He doesn't have confidence in his son. Perhaps his son is, in, is inept in the reason for he doesn't have confidence in his son. Now, so we're going to come back to that. Remember, everybody who didn't go to Washington with tribulation Trump is going to jail. That boy, Don Jr., Michael Cohen's already in jail. Don is going too, but not before he lays the hammer on his father. But Yesterday, Trump was headed to Miss Louisiana, someplace I, I'm not sure, forgive me for not having that info, but he was going to make a campaign speech. And he was, came out to Air Force, uh, Marine One, and he stopped and he spoke to the, um, to the pool spray of reporters that were there. And they had asked him about, you know, the Senate Intelligence Committee subpoenaing his son. And, and, and we had just yesterday had gone all over the fact that Lindsey Graham was out there you know, like a $10 prostitute talking about how I would tell Don Jr. not to testify. I would tell him to break the law. I would tell him, I would tell him ain't nothing new and there's nothing new to be told, right? Remember that from yesterday. Now Trump steps out and says that his boy's a good boy and that they don't know why they're calling him back. Uh, Mr. Engineer rolled, I think it's clip number, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, what, what is it? Clip number three. Well, I was very surprised. I saw Richard Burr saying there was no collusion two or three weeks ago. He went outside and somebody asked him, no, there's no collusion. We found no collusion. But I was very surprised to see my son. My son's a very good person, works very hard. The last thing he needs is Washington, D.C. He could rather not ever be involved. Okay. By my mistake, I said it was on, it was on the tarmac or before Marine One at the White House. Pardon me, it was before a committee, before a group meeting there. Now I want to ask the engineer to because we want to look at what Trump is saying. He really did. He Trump. This is yesterday morning at about eleven o'clock. Trump really did not know that his son had already made a commitment to meet before uh, the Senate Intelligence Committee. Now you know nothing happens in the Trump world without Trump knowing it or giving approval of it first. But his son had made a commitment hours earlier to testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee, and he didn't tell his father. So his father is standing here now thinking that his son is not going to testify. And, and, and then he tries to say, you know, I didn't bring my son to Washington because that's the last thing I need is my son to get caught up in the mess of Washington. But you brought your daughter. You brought your son-in-law there. So that argument doesn't hold water 
tribulation Trump. But Mr. Engineer, roll that one more time, because I want you to see the sincerity. Trump does not know his, his son just sold him down the river. Trump does not know his son just stabbed him in the back. Trump does not know that his son just lifted up that, all that hair he got on his head and showing the bald spot. Mr. Engineer, roll that clip now again one more time. Well, I was very surprised. I saw Richard Burr saying there was no collusion. Uh, he was two surprised. Or three weeks ago. He was he surprised. Side and somebody asked him, "No, there's no collusion. We found no collusion." But I was very surprised to see my son. My son's a very good person. Works very hard. The last thing he needs is Washington D.C. He could rather not ever be involved. You see what I'm saying? You know, Trump is genuinely at that point. He did not know. And also, the intelligence committee was able to keep it from him that actually Cohen had made a decision a couple of days earlier. Not Cohen, pardon me. Don Jr. had made the decision a couple of days earlier, last week, to submit to the subpoena. And is it because he's not covered by the executive privilege? I mean, he could have gone to court and they could fight in court like everybody else. And now it'll take him to court some time and you, you, know, you run out the clock. But Don Jr. has decided to do this on, like Michael Cohen, Don Jr. got ill-treated on the Washington scene. Don Jr. got left behind like Michael Cohen. And everybody who was with Trump that didn't go to Washington is going to jail. And Don Jr. is ready to go to jail. His wife has left him. His children are all separated from him. He's estranged from his family. He's estranged from his father. He and his sister Ivanka don't get along at all. They never got along. But Trump worships Ivanka, and he hates Don Jr. So Don Jr. has had it. Like Michael Cohen, I can't wait. It's sometime in June. But I cannot wait to see what that Senate hearing is going to be about. And it really, they only need this. They've made some agreements that's going to be two to four hours. All they need is four hours for Don Jr. to stand up and say, my father knew about the meeting. My father and Paul Manafort arranged the meeting. I was just allowed to sit in on the meeting. Jared got angry because he was not allowed to chair the meeting and walked out 15 minutes after the meeting got started. But that's the only reason why Jared walked out of the meeting. Jared walked out because he was not allowed to chair the meeting. Jared will not sit down anywhere where Don Jr. has the chair. Don, Jared will not sit down and let Don Jr. preside over him. And that's why Jared walked out. But Bessemer Sky was there. Let me read the, the name of people that were there. There was Donald, Don, Don Jr., uh, Donald Jr., Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, and five other people, including this Russian lawyer, Natalia Vestemaskaya, and, of course, Rod uh, Goldstein was there, the singer, and, the, uh, uh, the, it was, and then Erming Agalov was also there in that meeting, these Russians. Now, they said the meeting was about adoption, adopting Russian children. Ah. Well, if you believe that, I got some land in Florida in the swamp I want to say, and you could, you, know, you can buy the Brooklyn Bridge. I got the Brooklyn Bridge. I want to say. So here, let me wrap everything up here today. That uh, here's what's happening. There's a fight going on now between uh, between Trump and his son Don Jr. And it's um, it, it, Don Jr. is going to have to go to jail as well for lying to Congress. He's going to have to go, but they'll probably, maybe they give him a suspended sentence, I'm not sure. Maybe they will not be as harsh on him as they have been on, um, on, on, on Michael Cohen. But keep this in focus. Everybody who didn't, who Trump stiffed and didn't take to Washington, like Michael Cohen and Don Jr., is going to turn state's evidence against the illegal President Tribulation Trump. Trump has never loved his son. He has never, he didn't raise him. He didn't watch him grow up. He's never loved his son. He loves his daughter though. I, 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 that could be some other reasons why, but he really worships Jared. Jared Kushner has more power in Washington, D.C. than the White House Chief of Staff, than the Vice President of the, of the United States of America, than the Attorney General, of the, uh, than the Secretary of Defense. Jared Kushner, Jeff, who doesn't qualify for top security clearance, has more power. And that's the boy that Trump wants as his son. Jared is Trump's son. That's his prize, along with his prized daughter. And Don Jr. is a black sheep. But the black sheep is getting ready to bye-bye. <laughs> Woo, Lord! 
the black sheep is getting ready to bah, bah, black sheep. Ha! That black sheep getting ready to talk sometime in June. I don't have the date here in front of me, but it's going to be interesting to watch it. And I'll come back with more prognostications, I believe, about what will be the result of Don Jr.'s testimony and how this will affect uh, the Trump enterprise, the Trump presidency. But he's getting ready to bad back. Don Jr. is getting the black sheep of the family is getting ready to bad back. And, and we'll, 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 we'll follow up on this. But I think it's very important that we understand the dynamics of this. And for two years, Don Jr. has been seething. Not, in, not invited to the Washington parties. Not invited. He don't even go down to, to uh, uh, down at, uh, at uh, Mar-a-Lago. He's not even invited there. Trump has mistreated two men very close to him. One is Michael Cohen who have been hurt deeply by Trump. Michael Cohen has been hurt deeply by, and Don Jr. has been hurt even deeper than Michael Cohen has been hurt by tribulation Trump. So it's on. Stay tuned, everybody. I'm James Evan Manning. I'm the Lord's servant. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man in repentance will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the man in report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.